ignore the background. Um, I am going to have a background, maybe by the next time I do this video, or maybe like in two videos, but my workspace is undergoing a bit of a transformation, and I simply could not be arsed to fix the background right now. So, okay, um, I have, I'm working on a series. I have been collecting and using and thinking about all the different beauty tools in my life. And I'm going to divide them into two sections, analog and digital. And um, I'm starting this off with a big bang. I don't, I don't know if this is going to seem as like epic <laughs> as it feels to me, but I'm actually starting off with my favorite beauty tool because it is no joke a bit of a life changer for me this is like game changer um but yeah it might just seem a little bit won't won't whenever i show you but it is something that you know if i got hit by a bus today and i wasn't able to pass on this wisdom and this knowledge i'd feel a little bit like something was incomplete you know <clears throat> no but for real shave your face game changer. So I am not an especially hairy person. Um, like my arms just don't grow hair. Um, I don't have thick eyebrows. I don't have thick hair. I'm just not a very hairy person. However, I still grow a mustache. I still have a unibrow. Like just unfairness, but such is life. And this has been life since I was, you know, probably 12, 13, um, started growing a very subtle but very annoying little mustache. And um, I can't remember exactly what age I started uh, waxing my mustache or bleaching or trying nair. I mean, I tried it all. It's all awful. All of it is terrible. Um, the most effective was, or probably is, uh, bleaching, not bleaching, bleaching is the worst, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> the worst is waxing for me and for probably a lot of people with similar uh, skin type to mine because the trauma of ripping hair out of my hair follicles causes me to break out. So you're trading a very light mustache with an acne stash and that's just not a good trade-off. So, I can't believe it took me until I was like in my mid-30s to discover face shaving. I mean, I remember back when I was a teenager, a friend of a friend shaved her face and it was like, oh my god, did you hear that blah 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 shaved her face? What a freak, that's the stupidest thing to do. And yet part of me was so jealous because I was just like, oh, if that could just be the easy way to just get rid of hair. It was always something I was like hiding to do, you know, like like hiding my little like wax kit. Um, not very open about it, like never talking to like girlfriends about like waxing and stuff like that. Like it's always been this like weird little hush hush taboo thing. Um, but anyways, I'm not shy to talk about it here with you guys on YouTube, just out there in the world. But, uh, no, for real, um, shaving my face and discovering these razors has just changed everything for me. And it's just so easy now. I do not break out. Um, you know, I only have to do it every four to six weeks. My hair does not, and your hair will not grow back thicker. Okay, let me give you the rundown. So, there's basically two components to shaving your face as a woman. First of all, shed those taboos, let go, fight the patriarchy, okay? This is the man trying to keep you down. There's just nothing unfeminine about shaving your face. In fact, Marilyn Monroe used to do it, Liz Taylor used to do it, I don't know. All, all, the, all the ladies, all the ladies do it. Let's all just do it, okay? Um, don't use shaving cream, but this is my opinion. Don't use shaving cream because you want to be able to see what you're doing. So shave your face on a clean, dry skin. Um, you don't need extra lubrication or anything because you're not doing long strokes. You are just going zip, 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 zip. That's for your mustache. 
So the two parts is that you can A, use it to remove unwanted hair, B, you can use this as a dermaplaning exfoliation treatment, which is just like a little bit more hardcore. So if you are interested in learning about shaving your face and starting to shave your face, start first with using it as um, something to, to try, like actual hair removal. So ever since I've been growing up my eyebrows, I've been using it to just take away all the unwanted stray hairs, get rid of the unibrow, um, that kind of thing, so that um, just to let as much hair as I can just, just grow in. Um, so it's been really useful for that. So. And I, and I use it to remove um, my mustache, and luckily I don't have sideburns or a beard yet. <laughs> There's always time. Um, but that's how it starts. So you get comfortable with learning how to use these razors, and it's super easy. Don't be intimidated by them. It's like, trust me, way harder to shave your legs. Um, so Tinkles are a single blade razor. Let me just focus on it. it did it focus? A single blade razor, this one's used, um, sorry about that, that has, I don't know if you can see sort of this like little scalloped edge on the blade, and that makes it um, much safer and easier to use. So all you need to do is hold it at a 45 degree angle from the surface that you're going to be shaving, and you just use short little strokes to zip, 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 zip. Um, I'll do just like a tiny bit, but I'm wearing primer. So like that's the gist of it. Do, 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 do. And then you look and you see what you got off. <laughs> um, so for hair removal, I'm going to say that if you have A, very sensitive skin, B, if you're very, very fuzzy or hairy, or C, if you've got very, very curly hair, this may not be for you. So this is removing some skin from your face. It's just like, you know, how we say that men um, tend to have better skin because they're constantly exfoliating because they're shaving. Well, they're, sh it's, they're shaving off skin. You're going to be shaving off some skin. That's the kind of the point of the dermaplaning part of it, is that it's a very effective way to fully exfoliate your skin. Um, so that will be leaving your skin more sensitized. So if you're the type of person who, you know, can't comfortably use a face cloth or, um, you know, any kind of exfoliating tool or any kind of chemical exfoliator or mechanical exfoliator, then, you know, do proceed with extreme caution if this is really something that you want to take on because it will be sensitizing your skin. If, um, if you are very, very fuzzy, you've got a lot to shave off and what the, f the final product or the final, you know, like, yeah, product, like what you're going to be ending up with, um, may be very different from what your skin is already like. So it could be too big of a leap of something to just do at home. So, um, I, this is something I would go to a professional and have it done first and talk to them and see if you're a good candidate, first of all, for dermaplaning. Um, and if it's something that you could undertake at home yourself, if that's what you're interested in doing. Um, and then third, if you've got very, very curly hair, um, if you're like someone with very dark skin with very curly hair, you're probably going to be more prone to ingrown hairs. And so that's going to suck if this is like, you know, you're just basically setting yourself up to having grown hairs like all over your face. Like that's probably not something you really want to be doing. But if you have fairly easygoing skin, um, you're not super hairy, you're not super curly, you're not super sensitive. Um, so kind of like my skin type, um, you know, I don't grow a lot of hair, but the hair that I do grow is dark and annoying because you can really see it. I don't have very sensitive skin. It's got sensitive to some stuff, but it's not extremely problematic one way or another. Um, but I get acne from trauma to my skin. Um, if this is you, then let me tell you that we've got a very good skin type to be using razors and total game changer, total game, game changer, total game changer. <laughs> I hate that expression, but anyways, so, um, you would start with 
using these blades as a home hair removal kind of thing and then work your way up if you're interested to do a full dermaplaning of your skin your 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 hair will not grow back thicker it just grows back kind of different because if your hair is very light and tapered let's say it was bleached by the sun um it may come back looking a little bit darker and more blunt so it could be more visible but i found for myself um although i don't dermaplane very um, often at all, like maybe twice a year, because I do lots of other kind of exfoliation treatments and I just, I don't want to be overdoing it. Um, that it, honestly, it didn't change my hair texture at all. And I do use this regularly for my shaping around my eyebrows and um, my mustache area. And yeah, it hasn't changed my hair in the least, in the slightest. And I feel like I'm less hairy overall because it's so simple, painless, carefree to just <laughs> and it takes like all of two seconds. So um, generally they recommend that you use a new blade every single time that you use it. I don't think that most of us are honestly going to be doing that. If you're going to be f doing your whole face and yes, use a fresh razor clean it off the same way that a barber would clean off a straight razor. So um, it, like they use like a leather strap and they go, fft, fft, fft. I just use a, a pair of jeans and I know that sounds kind of gross, but I mean, I'm not using this on clients or anything, right? So you just kind of go fft, fft, fft on um, your jeans or on your pajamas. <laughs> and then you just like wipe it off a little bit with some um, rubbing alcohol or dip it in your vodka if you're just so inclined. And I feel like you can use it a few more times after that. If you're only using it for your stash and for your brows, then I don't know, like honestly one blade I can keep for months because I only have to use it um, like, yeah, every four weeks, every six weeks on my mustache, on my eyebrows. It's just like here and there. Just keep it clean. I mean, use common sense. Always proceed with caution. Common sense, a whole lot of it. Um, if you have any, if you have skin with any kind of particular issues or, or the stuff that I talked about before, just go see a professional first, just someone who, you know, you can ask and be like, look at my skin, do you think I'm a good candidate for this? If you are a good candidate for it, um, maybe the first time get it done professionally, you will be paying about a hundred bucks, 150 bucks plus, um, whereas a packet of these is about seven dollars for three of them. Um, Tinkle is the only brand of these razors that I can recommend. I've tried a few others because you can, in Canada I can't find um, like lady razors for your face anywhere, but in other countries I have seen them. I picked them up and they were atrocious. So apparently the ones by Shiseido are good and like I said, I just recommend, these. this is the only brand that I use. Um, and yeah, you're just going to want to um, just use a lot of common sense you guys. Um, I felt like I was on like one train of thought and lost it. But this is like just the thing that I, I tend to repeat over and over and over anytime that I'm recommending something that is like potentially a little bit dangerous is just, you know, don't be a dummy about it. <laughs> and um, you know, if you do go about this in a way that makes sense, trust me, you're gonna thank me because it's just made everything so much easier for me. I don't get the breakouts around my eyebrows, around my mustache area anymore, and um, I'm no longer afraid of menopause and growing a beard. Bring it on, I'm just gonna tinkle it right off. <laughs> so, that was part one of Analog Beauty Tools series. I, I, I showed you guys like my, my little dirty secret, um, in a sense. I used to be really embarrassed about talking about shaving my face, but um, honestly, like, if someone were to ask me, Jess, how should I take off my mustache? This is what I would give you, except for a clean, fresh one. Because I'm generous like that. <laughs> okay, so let me know, have you ever shaved your face? Or have you ever thought about shaving your face? Um, and what questions might you have about it? Because I'm sure I left something out. I'm going note-free again. Okay, so take care. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe if you're into face shaving and such things. Oh.